2171 AD. Humanity once again reached for the stars. Global superpowers had raced to build orbital elevators in their territories, turning the emptiness of space into cluttered colonies of surveillance satellite networks and military way stations. Back on the surface, while no nations engaged in all-out war, border skirmishes became more frequent. On these ever-shifting front lines, armored humanoid battle vehicles codenamed Wanzers have proven to be the unrivaled kings. History has taught us that humanity, wherever it went, would baptize its new home with blood drawn in battle. In this age, no place is safe from the ravages of war. Data link's going to be ready? Just about done. Okay, go ahead and try them. Initiating operations control system wizard. Only an Ooh. 0.02% deviation. Great job. <laughs> Maybe everyone will relax a little now. Yeah, what's up with everyone today? Isn't this just supposed to be a regular demonstration? Maybe Wizard knows something. Wiz? Retrieving information from the Military Administration data net. Data indicates that any performance failure displayed during today's tests will result in the termination of funding for the Edge System Upgrade Project assigned to Diablo Avionics. Military what? Wiz shouldn't be able to access that. I have an upgrade here in my spare time. Upgrades? Why haven't I heard anything about this? Information classified. You've turned Wiz into a hacker? Information classified. Done! Stop! I have to! No time to waste. We've got to get this test started. Jeez, Dylan. Why do you always do this to me? Wiz, give me all the info you can get. Accessing UCS strategic data link. An identified Wanzers have landed near the mouth of the Hudson River. UCS units assigned to the orbital elevator Percival are currently engaging the intruders. What about Dad's office? Unable to retrieve current data on the National Strategic Research Labs. We'd better go see for ourselves. Set a course for the NSRL. What are you doing, Dylan? Think of it as a field test for the demonstration. That's a real war zone out there. You're not even a soldier. You'll get killed. I don't need to be. Not with Wiz and the edge system we've been developing. I know you want to help your dad. But you can't do this, Dylan. Bye, Amy.
Good luck, son. Dad's ID code and NSRL security net. That should give us his current location. Network access error. Satellite communication uplinks are being jammed. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Let's see a radar map. Location of NSRL. Most efficient route calculated. Current route minimizes probability of contact with unidentified wanzers. Unidentified wanzers? I think it's safe to call them enemies now, Wiz. <laughs> CU assault wanters. Since when are we at war with them? Unable to find official records of declaration of war being sent by the OCU. Was the army taking a nap or something? How could they let these guys into New York so easily? Dad's not gonna stand a chance unless we get there soon. Our company's newest prototype. This is Sergeant Adela Sewell of the 72nd Mobile Company. All civilians must leave this combat area immediately. Don't worry, I'll leave. As soon as I get my dad out of the NSRL building. Give me a break. My orders are to break through enemy lines and reach the orbital elevator. I have no time to waste on you. Well, what a coincidence. The NSRL's that way. I'm coming with you. As far as we can take you, Sergeant. Hostile airspace ahead. Roger. We'll drop from here. Last chance to back out. Well? Since you threw away your last chance to save yourself, I guess I'll have to let you come with me. Captain Hamilton is waiting for us near Percival. Let's go. Captain Hamilton should be down here somewhere. Enemy units. We're busting through. Got a little something for you, boy. Diablo Avionics. Wands Development Division, Dylan Ramsey. A civilian. You're either brave or crazy coming here. I'm Captain Russell Hamilton, 72nd Mope. Dad wasn't in there, right? Right? Searching ID code. Unable to confirm Professor Ramsey's evacuation. You bastard! You must be mad if you think you alone can stand against Apollo's chariot. What the hell is Apollo's chariot? Apollo's chariot is the name given to one of the world's most dangerous mercenary groups led by Marcus Seligman. 
That would be me. But your data's outdated. We are the most dangerous mercenary group. You'll pay for this. Now, now. I can't let you interfere in my business. Our client is very fuzzy. Let's show them what we can do. I hope this holds up in a real fight. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> What's so funny? don't get out of here, you'll never be able to avenge your father. God damn it. it either but this is real wake up both of you there's no time for chit chat we've got to get out of here now sergeant Seawell. i'm in Seawell. where the hell are you adela come back adela wizard locate adela sergeant Seawell, located unit is engaged with enemies and not responding keep going i'll go back and get adela we'll meet you outside the city Damn it! Uh. Help him! I'll cover you! Dad, I'm so sorry. Have we heard from the OCU? They claim they had nothing to do with this. Yeah, right. There's no question those Wanzas we fought were OCU models. And everyone knows Apollo's chariot is based on the OCU. The UCS government wouldn't fall for that either. Yeah. The army's already mobilizing. We're going to war.
I'll make them pay. This is a war, Dylan. There is nothing a civilian like you could do. But sir, why would any... No, sir, I'm not questioning. Understood. Dylan Ramsey. The UCS Army needs you. You've been offered a commission as a specialist in the 72nd under my command. Sir, is this a joke? Brass isn't famous for its sense of humor. So what do you say, Mr. Ramsey? been to Fort Monis, Ramsey? I lived there until I was 10. Really? Well, just don't get any ideas about liberating your hometown by yourself. Remember, our priority is to reach the fort and get those friendlies. They won't stand a chance if I use Edge. Edge? Emergency, defense, galvanosynoptic enhancer. It's a defensive system that stimulates the pilot's nervous system directly, allowing him to evade enemy attacks. My father created it. I think of it as an electronic lucky charm. You shouldn't rely on it. That charm comes with a curse. What do you mean by that? Coffee breaks over. Ramsey, cover our left. Adela, you take the right. Squad one in position. They'll be on a flanking maneuver. Dylan, you ready? It's showtime, Wiz. Captain! Shit! Squad one! That can't be right. It's not just the OCU out there. Those other ones are Dahung Zone. The Hanzong Special Ops units? Are the DHZ and OCU allies now? Hold it! Our Hover's first in the field will be fresh for the fight. Hover's second and has to lease him to battle. We'll arrive exhausted. Sansa is out of war. It is a sound strategy, but there's no honor in vanquishing a weakened enemy. You would take honor over a strategic victory? You sound like one of your armor-clad ancestors, Lieutenant Gordon. <laughs> Don't worry, Lieutenant Gordon. I won't let my obsolescence get in the way of our mission. Southern Cross Company, move out. Locate the other enemy unit. Yun, fall back. So soon? Is this not against your code? There's no disgrace in retreat. One must live to learn from a stronger foe in order to defeat him in the next battle. Damn it. Ramsey, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. They got away. Don't worry about them. Our priority is to get inside and get our troops out safe. Wiz, what's going on inside the hangar? Scans show less than 10 active UCS ID markers, retrieving data on the highest ranked officer, Brigadier General Godwin Mosley. Mosley? Our luck may have just turned around. There's also some undamaged wanzers inside, but it looks like enemy troops are preventing our guys from reaching. We'll play it away. Captain, we can't go in there with our wanzers. Their weapons are too inaccurate for this kind of thing. We might accidentally hit one of the friendlies. You're right. We'll do this on foot. Adela, stay here and look after our wanzers. Ramsey, you're with me. What? Captain! I'll need Ramsey to quick start the wanzers inside once we clear the way for survivors. That shouldn't be a problem for you now, will it? No, sir. Adela? I'm counting on you to protect our wanters. Yes, sir. 
Let's go, Rainbow. You guys all right? Yes. Thanks to you. We wouldn't have held out long without your help. Goddard Mosley. Captain Russell Hamilton, sir. I'm... Ramsey. Dylan Ramsey, correct? How do you know, Mark? <laughs> Well, I've said the pleasantries for later. You certainly come in handy, Mr. Ramsey. Deploy the frost. Sir, something strange is going on. What is it, Sergeant? The OCU and DHZ are retreating. Why would they pull back now? I don't know, sir. What were they after? That your great object be victory, not lengthy campaigns. Yes, we would have gained nothing by staying. Our plan was fruitful. We have shown the UCS our resolve. They will think twice about mobilizing against us. Since we struck out... Only in self-defense. The EC and the Zafter will be on our side. Yes. The UCS isolated itself from the world when it launched this hasty invasion. Our superiors will be satisfied with these results. Satisfied? Huh. How much blood must we soldiers shed for the satisfaction of politicians and bureaucrats? Sorry, Ramsey. You've been assigned to recon mission. You'll need to cover a lot of ground. You'll need speed. I'll hover you. You'll have trouble fitting that in my wanzer. You'll Don't have to. Don't worry. I got you some help. And I believe she's even more knowledgeable about wanzers than you, Ramsey. Hello, Dylan. Amy. I had to use some unconventional methods, but it should do. We should be able to cover any minor misalignments. Amy, I I'm... Save your apology. It's not like I was worried about you. Running off to join the army and everything. Right now, I need your input on customization. This over here. We try that. Mm. Looks like you two have things well in order. <laughs> Company, what? Present arms. So he's a war hero. The real deal. They call him Moses mostly because he wrote the commandments of Wanzer combat from inside a unit, not behind a desk. He saved more lives. <laughs> ah! Ah! What the hell? <laughs> Fun, my dear. Not much fun to be had in this shooting alley. It's a follow chariot! Marcus. Ramsey, wait! The bait is set, boss. Let's see if our target takes it. <laughs> Stop that, Wanda! Don't let Ramsey out! Adela, hold down the fort. I'm gonna try and catch Ramsey before he gets himself killed. Copy that. <laughs> Let's go. Ramsey, wait for me before you engage. I can't let him get away again. Right, boss? Let's see how he does against both of us. We need to isolate the target. Let's play with him for a while, Gloria. Now this is what I call fun. Dylan, you're not gonna win this war by yourself. I'm sorry, Captain. This is something I have to do. That little rodent has some teeth. We're done playing. 
His target isn't this boy. Damn you. What the hell? Ramsey, Port Modest is under attack. We need to go back. <laughs> That's our man, my dear. Always on time. Our job's done. Bye-bye, you Where do you think you're going? Dylan, wake up! Dylan needs our help! Copy that. I'm on my way. You are in luck, Adela. The one thing that can defeat me just happens to be that machine of yours. Never. I'll never use it again. If you don't defeat me, all the people here will die. You will be responsible for more deaths, Adela. No. Stop it! Shut up! Do you want to go through the same thing you did that day? No, I... I didn't. I... Adela? Activate your edge system, Adela Sewell. Adela! No! <laughs> <laughs> what do we have here? Another edge user. Now this is a pleasant surprise. You have an even higher potential rating than Adela. No. You're a perfect match. Dylan. Why would you? Are you okay? It seems I found another AAA candidate. I'll definitely be back for you. That is, if you manage to survive your heroic sacrifice. Cornelius Werner. Jesus! Adela! Dylan! Hamilton. Don't worry about me. Help Adela. <laughs> The OCU's moment of victory did not last long. Soon after the Battle of Fort Monis, the OCU space elevator Aluru 2 was destroyed. The UCS, OCU, and DHZ were shocked by the appearance of an unknown enemy. The UCS traces the attack to Antarctica, but decides to act on its own, still distrustful of the OCU and DHZ. The UCS assigns a Black Ops team to Antarctica, the 72nd Mobile Division. Brigadier General Godwin Mosley in command. Heartbreaking. Who was that back then? Cornelius Werner. Until two years ago, he was one of the UCS's top Wanzer pilots. So he left the army? In a way, yeah. According to official records, he's dead. <laughs> he didn't look dead to me. No. He's a ghost that haunts the army's past. Cornelius was involved in the Phantom Incident. A lot of good men and innocent civilians died that day. Cornelius and I were the only survivors. Wait, you were there too? Everyone else was killed. Even my family. I'm sorry your father's no longer with us, Dylan. He created Edge. Maybe you could have helped him. You knew my father. What has Edge got to do with this? Your father and I were old friends. I was also involved with the Edge project in its initial stages. The device they were field testing the day of the Phantom incident? was a modified edge device. Enemies inbound! Multiple contacts! All units to defensive position! Our target is too far inland for short-range fighters. There must be another base closer to shore. I think I found your other base, sir. Look at that iceberg. 
Get to your wanzers. Thank you for your help back at Fort Mollis. Don't mention it. Dylan, I know you were using Edge to help me, but it isn't safe. So I hear. A phantom incident? Just... please, trust me, you shouldn't use it. What happened to me that day, I... it just... It's, it's all right. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Wiz, lock down the Edge system. Thanks, Dylan. Defensive positions. We're approaching the continent. I guess we'd better. Son of a bitch! Did she tell you what happened during the Phantom Incident? How she used Edge to kill her own squad? Her own family? It's a liar! I killed them. I killed them all. If only you understood the true power of Edge! What the? No. Show me your true power. Activate your edge system! Fort Manus? Wait till you see what I have in store for you. Oh! Lieutenant Jed Gordon, OCU Southern Cross Company. Lieutenant Yun Tae Huan, Da Hanzong Republican Army. Fancy meeting you here. We may still be enemies, but I think we're all here for the same reason. Easy, Ramsey. 
can use all the help we can get. The enemy of my enemy, as they say. Hamilton, take Dylan and Adela and enter the fort from the front. We'll follow Cornelius around back. Let's go. You heard the man. Are you okay? Listen. Whatever happened in the past, it won't matter soon. Once Cornelius is gone, you'll be free. But we can't do it without you. Let's go find out if a phantom can really be killed. Stay sharp. Ambassador's around here somewhere. Yeah. Watching us and laughing. Toying with us. Nice one, Ramsey. Not too shabby. That should be the end of Cornelius. Don't underestimate me. Hamilton! It's him! Captain! I'm alive, but my system's down. Bastard. <laughs> Adela! I wonder if you have what it takes to save your friends. <laughs> you can't defeat me without Edge. If I must kill Adela for you to understand that. <laughs> Use your Edge, Dylan Ramsey. You have no other choice. Dylan, please don't. I'm sorry, I can't let you die. Wizard, disengage edge system lock. Confirmed. Initiating edge system. No. Now. You're mine. What the? I... Warning. Unauthorized access detected. System malfunctioning. Now, Dylan Ramsey. Kill her. Jesus, no! Do it! Come on, you hunk of junk! Move! Damn it! Dylan, wake up. You need to save Adela. Captain! What? What's going on? Another time, Dylan Ramsey. What happened? No. Hamilton.
Jo. Hamilton. Hamilton! As two of the world's precious orbital elevators lay in ruins, the terrorists responsible for these attacks revealed plans for another strike on the city of New York, along with a single request. We ask for no changes of political regime. No territories to call our own. No independence from greater power. No resources, no food, no money. We ask only for war. War in its purest form. Death for the sake of death. Cornelius Warner's address was broadcast across the globe. It was a declaration of war, not only to the UCS, but to the entire world. We are the sword of Democles. Sword of terror. Hanging above the skulls of all of Earth's nations. The UCS, OCU, DHZ, EC, Zafter, all of you who have foolishly divided the land with artificial borders. I thank you. I thank you for creating these divides amongst yourselves. All we have left to do is to conquer. Dylan, what happened in Antarctica, it wasn't you. It wouldn't have happened if I hadn't used Edge like I promised. Listen, I've gone through the same thing. Cornelius made me kill my friends, my squad mates, my family. I carried those ghosts with me all these years, and because of that, I lost part of myself until... Dylan, please. I don't want you to become like me. I like you the way you are. The way you are now. Dylan, we need your help for customization. Guess you better go. Apollo's chariot here? Marcus has to be nearby. Then let's make him come to us. Isn't it beautiful? And think how it will sound when I add their screams to my chorus of destruction! Oh, Valkyrie, grant me the strength to deliver the souls of the non believers. Tonight, you will rest in Valhalla. Let the symphony begin! <laughs> I hate to admit it, but those two have wonderful rhythm. The Valkyrie spares you. For now. Where's Marcus? Tell me! Adela, Ramsey, let them go. Sir? There's something you need to hear. Switch to your secure channel. Go ahead, General. I want you to remain calm. You've just received a distress signal. His ID matches that of one Professor Alan Ramsey. Dad? He's alive? We never did find a body, and it's more likely a trap. The squad I sent to investigate ran into some trouble. Here, I'm sending you the coordinates for the signal. Ramsey, I won't order you to go. I want to ask you to do this for me as Alan's friend, not as your superior officer. Multiple thermal sources ahead. Data suggests a large scale battle. 
No alternative routes available to target location. We have to get through. I have to know if he's still alive. The subway. If we can't go through them or around them, we can go below them. Yes, sir. What's the matter? I can't help but think. What if my dad's still alive? Wouldn't that be a good thing? It's just... What happened to you, to Captain Hamilton? It's because of Edge. And my father's the one who created it. Worry about that after we've rescued him. I've got a lock on the signal. Your father's somewhere in the building above us. Wizard's showing some maintenance tunnels that access the building from down here. We should be careful. Remember, this could still be a trap. <laughs> What if it's locked? It isn't. Dad? It's really you! Dylan? What are you doing here? I thought you were dead. The terrorists told me they had you hostage. What are you talking about? I was captured during the attack on the NSRL. They brought me back here and forced me to work on modifying Edge. They showed me a picture of you being held at gunpoint. But I guess it was a fake. I managed to sneak a distress signal through when they weren't looking. But I never expected you to come rescue me. Excuse me, but we need to get moving. Of course. If we're going to set things right, we'll need this. Dad, wait. You told me you made Edge to save people's lives. But I've seen what it can do with my own eyes. How could you create something like that? Dylan, believe me when I tell you I never intended Edge to be anything other than a defense system. But the Army had other intentions. After I left the project, they turned Edge into something else. Something evil. The Phantom System. Still, I must take responsibility for taking part in the Phantom's creation. With this, our Wanzer's Edge should be able to fulfill its original- The building's under attack! Marcus. This isn't our lucky day. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Dad. You should consider yourselves lucky. I don't kill people for free. Dad, no. Stay with me. I'll get you to a medic. No. There's no time. You must take this. Take this to Wizard. Show me what to do. Dad. Dylan. You must believe me. The edge I sought to create is not a tool for killing. Uh, edge can save lives. Please, son, show them what it was meant to do. Uh.
Dad. No. Dylan, I know this isn't easy for you, but the Sword of Democles broke through our first line of defense. They're advancing on Constantine now. We really need your help. Lieutenant Yoon, how are you holding up? We have multiple breaches in our defensive lines. You'll be on Constantine soon. We're on our way. We have to stop Cornelius. Your father's sacrifice can't be in vain. to the drop zone. For you, Dad. This time, things are going to be different. <laughs> That's right. I would think you'd be a bit more emotional. What with the death of your father and all. Ah, of course. Alan Ramsey deserved to die, didn't he? For all the pain he caused you and your, uh, lovely Adela. Leave Adela out of this! Not a chance. I'm definitely in. You sure you don't want to do this yourself? Sure enough. <laughs> Disable Edge! Turn it off! It's too late to the Ramsey. The Phantom has her now. Adela! That's Ramsey. Quick, there's not much time. Ramsey, you okay? Forget about me! Go after Adela! There's no time! No! I was wondering when you'd show up. Just making sure our fee had been wired. Ladies, you ready? <laughs> Born ready. Go ahead. 
You've earned it. Dylan Ramsey here. Apollo's chariot eliminated. I need containment and transportation for one Marcus Seligman. I figured you'd at least have the decency to kill me. Killing you won't bring my dad back. <laughs> but I bet you can tell us where to find Adela. Containment crew on scene, Specialist Ramsey. Radio me when he talks. <laughs> Looks like you two were having a bit of trouble. Let's set up a very effective defense. Whoever's in charge knows what he's doing. Agreed. Their tactics were textbook perfect. Maybe not Sun Tzu's, but strangely resembling yours, General Mosley. That's what I was afraid of. All right, let's finish this. I thought Babel was never finished. Someone's been busy. Babel looks operational. Let's go check the control room. I'll have to go in on foot. Follow me! Hey, Yun, isn't that one of yours? Yes. Lula Missile Base. Part of the DHC Long Range Weapon System. But why? They are preparing to launch missiles at this location. The People's Republic of Da Zong is intent on stopping us, no matter the cost, including sacrificing its own personnel. It seems your government has deemed you expendable, Lieutenant Yun. Impossible. An orbital strike. <laughs> Aren't you going to thank me for saving your lives? Let me introduce you to the Orbital Defense Station, Vitra. Experiment capabilities let us take control of all satellites in orbit. No one can hide from us, nor escape our judgment. This, gentlemen, is our sword. We've played the part of humanity's enemy, yet the nations of the world still refuse to cast away their mutual distrust. If there is to be peace, we must eliminate the root of this selfish demeanor. The warmongering governments that have sent you here must die. Vitra will begin a sequential bombardment of all capital cities in three hours. A new world will rise from the ashes of the old. A world without war. A world without borders. Heaven's guard. Isn't that right, General? What's he talking about, General? The creation of a series of satellite networks to watch over the world and to perform orbital strikes on belligerent nations. A peacekeeping force without borders. A concept put forward by one Godwin Mosley. A young officer's dream. 
I was too naive back then. Unfortunately, Cornelius Werner appointed himself heir to your dream. You! General Mosley didn't cause this mess. <laughs> I will never jump to such simplistic conclusions. Cornelius is, of course, the instigator of this crisis. However, that does not mean that General Mosley is completely blameless either. We don't have time for this. We need to activate the elevator and stop Vitra. We can have our witch hunts later. No. He's right. It is my responsibility. And I intend to do something about it. And see this to its end. How long does this thing take? It's coming from space. Inbound enemy wanzers detected. Damn it! Looks like the reinforcements have arrived. I will hold them off. You can't do it alone. I'm coming with you. No. Stay with them. We can't let the UCS get all the credit for saving the world. Can we? <laughs> yes, sir. and all you can think of is the girl. I know where the world is and it'll still be there because I won't let you touch it! <laughs> Truly, humanity's ego knows no bounds. You and the rest of the world are deserving of our judgment. I do believe this will be our last encounter, Dylan Ramsey. The one thing we agree on. <laughs> We will prevail. This is the end of your plans, Cornelius. <laughs> I am merely a headless horseman. The world will receive its judgment soon. Article accelerator cannon charging. We should probably stop that from happening. Wiz, where's the power source? Power source located. Looks like we're going outside. This way. Jed, 
behind you! Crikey! <laughs> Kill me for this, but I guess the UCS will be saving the world after all, eh? Godspeed, Dylan. Good luck to you too, Jed. And thanks. Adela? She can't hear you, Dylan Ramsey. General Mosley? I'm the Synthetic Computer Intelligence Orbital Network. You may call me Sion. An AI? Of sorts. I'm a digital construct. Comprised of Godwin Mosley's personality profile and memory data. I'm the heir to his dream. He built you. No, your father did. My birthplace is the core programming code of the age system. What? Alan Ramsey believed that an emulation of Moses' unparalleled combat intuition was the ideal basis for a Wanzer defense system. What he didn't realize was that the digitized copy of Moses' personality and memories was so complete. They contain Mosley's concept of an independent orbital peacekeeping system. Evans Guard. When the UCS Army modified Edge to create the Phantom System, their clumsy tinkering awoke me. And so I set forth to fulfill my mission to realize the dream of a world without war. But first, I needed a physical presence. The closest available asset at the test site was Cornelius Werner. You're the cause of the Phantom Incident. All I did was to give Cornelius a choice. Embrace my powers and help me rid humanity of its belligerence? Or refuse me and become one of those who would be cleansed? And hence, he became the first guardian of the heavens. Well, I've got news for you. All your guardians are gone. Stop. It's me, Dylan. She does not see nor hear you. I killed you. My family. My family. Damn it! Leave her alone! She is where she has always been. In the past. Among the ghosts of her beloved. Adela, listen to me. You know it isn't your fault. I'm so sorry. Soon she will join me, a prisoner of her sins. She will fade away like a phantom. No, she won't. Adela, I'm here. I'll share your guilt with you. If you wish to join her, then you shall. In death. Adela! Dylan, I see you now. Adela. You cannot escape. The heaven shall strike you down. What now? Glad to have you back. Thanks. Just in time, I see. The sinner shall be purged.
okay? Thought I lost you there. I'm okay. Thanks to you, Dylan. The Phantom can never die. You fool. Yes. What about Zion? Don't worry. It bugged out. Thanks, son. You did it. Dad? Is that you? Goodbye, Dylan. Take good care of Miss Sewell. I see you guys made it. Did I miss all the fun? Jed! Uh, I hate to ruin the moment, but we really need to get the hell out of here. What you said earlier about sharing my burden, you don't need to do that. I want to. That might be the worst proposal I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> if that was a proposal, at least I have plenty of time to think about it. <laughs> Can you hear me? I repeat, this is Lieutenant Yoon. We have you on scanners. Please respond. We're here, Lieutenant. Nice to hear your voice. Come back. Can you hear me? Come in, Sergeant Sewell. Come in. Come in. Are you reading? A few friendly voices from the looks of it. There are no borders in space. Doesn't look like there are any borders on Earth, either. 